Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Figma has introduced so many cool new updates in November. A lot of these are going to affect your day-to-day -day design practice as well. So let's get down to it and let's check out all these amazing features. All right, so the first feature is underlying styles and underlying styles is amazing because it's going to cut any underlining tasks or designs in half. So if I hover over this and highlight anything, and I head over to this little settings type settings here. Under this, I have this called underline. I can straight up underline. This is the general one. Or I can click on this little arrow which says underline details. And it brings up all these amazing settings right here. So I can change things like the thickness of the underline. Works a lot like the line. I can increase it to whatever I like. So I can make it 50% or 100%, which is insane. Okay but you can leave it to say something like 10. Offset, of course, will be how close this line is to the text. So it styles with the text. So as you can see, the Y, as you can see, the Y is being styled accordingly as well. You can even skip ink, which means that it does not cut around any Y, G or any other letters with this indent at the bottom. And of course, you can choose these really cool dotted or wavy lines. I love the wavy lines by the way but this looks really good you can style it edit it color it whatever you like now the cool thing is you can use this for any of this text so it's not just primarily for one line you can do it for different lines with different styles which i think is really really useful underline styles this is a huge win i wish this was there earlier it would have saved me so many hours okay so the next one is figma slides update and if you've used figma slides it's super helpful if you haven't tried out now it has an ai feature figma ai is now in figma slides so what it does is allows you to create or add a prompt and unlike chat gpt it sees what there is on screen so if you already have say a little presentation a title or anything like that it can help you fill the rest of the slides notes etc right there instantly using ai here for example it allows you to create presenter notes directly based on your slides this will help you a lot. You can even copy this into your slides or maybe even send this as an email later to your teams. This is going to be super helpful because this will help, you know, brief your teammates, your seniors, your managers, whatnot, with what your slides is all about, with all the points. I absolutely hate the next one. This is called the Figma Pattern Library. And it's so sad that they haven't introduced this entire tool to the world yet. Maybe in the future, who knows? Now this this is a internal tool only, and this is an entire design system come tool to be able to find variables, assets, graphics, and so much more, all created, all custom built by Figma. So the interface of this internal tool kind of looks like this with things like documentation for developers, design system components and elements for designers, and so much more. They're rebranding, recreating everything, and I am so jealous that I don't have this yet. Please, Figma, make this public. I, from the life of me, could not find a link. It's just for the team working at Figma right now. And boy, it looks clean, it looks nice. It kind of reminds me of the material design library. If you check down material design and their website and how it works, this is quite similar to that. I love this, man. For now, you can still access Figma's own design system. I'll have a link in the description for that as well. So if you don't know, Figma has created its own design system like material design, and you can access it right now in the Figma community and library. Okay, this next one was super viral. It was super hard and it was amazing. It's called the Figma. It's the new UI3 color picker. And honestly, personally, I've used it multiple times and I'm in love with it. First of all, it allows you to see the details of the color right there, right next to the color picker. The old magnifier was very annoying and not very usable, to be honest. This will follow the eyedrop tool and it will show you the exact... You can see it in RGB, HSL, HSB codes as well so that you can kind of based on your requirements or the kind of designs you create and you can instantly add any color without even touching it by the new shortcut which is shift command click on any color so it will add it to your library or to your latest design system and that's super amazing because it saves so many hours of separately saving colors into your library also if you ever hover over the exact 
color which is already in your library tell you the name of that color where it's from etc so that you don't duplicate the same color again and again or you don't get confused by it all right so the next one is going to be super super helpful for people maintaining design systems libraries etc now this is an update with the model in this case you can directly access various design systems libraries ui kits right from the libraries menu right here or this model pop up right here you can check out you can check out work done by other teams that you're a part of you can see you can see stuff from the figma community as well directly here and if you get inside this entire managed library i think that is super useful i'm pretty sure figma is going to expand more on this just to get you to access a lot of the community files directly from inside a figma file there is another update similar to this one called variables update in the variables update you can literally do whatever you like inside collection so if you have a collection of colors you have a multitude of variables for different colors shadows etc and they've made it very free to use you can actually just copy any variable from one library to the other or from one section or collection to another and of course you can now resize these columns so they're not fixed variable columns anymore these are just a few quality of the life updates again i'll have links to these updates so you can read through it list by list fig 2025 is already announced this is a they're hosting this year long conf they're hosting the probably the biggest ux conference in the world on may 6th to may 8th in 2025 uh you can of course you can of course go there in person meet thousands of people in moscow and center san francisco so if you're in california you probably will go there the early bird tickets right now are 399 dollars not bad if your full-time job or career is designed this is probably worth it for a lot of people now you can even apply for this for absolutely free yes they're online events everything that that happens online is always going to be free according to them which is really cool so you can still you can still see all the action happening virtually for free if that's what you want to do you can of course get your free or paid tickets right now you can even apply to speak i will apply to speak like every single year let's see if it goes through this time maybe maybe doesn't who cares but if you are confident and you want to speak at figma config why not go ahead all right guys that is most of the unique updates that i wanted to share with you there are a few other smaller updates or updates made for developers which again i'll have a link in the description to check out all the updates by item and you can just see what is what if you like this update then give a quick thumbs up to the video also give tell me in the comments which is your favorite update this month i'll see you every week just like this until next time take care god bless